welcome back to the Athenius Library. I am the curator last time on Cyber Night. We have uh, accomplished a lot of things actually, and we're about to set foot on this machine planet, which we assume is the uh, the Berserker homeworld. I'm not sure if we can even do anything here. But let's bring the puncher and the mechanic. That makes sense to me. Very dangerous. This could be the end of the game, in which case it probably won't allow us to do it yet. Uh, you take winner. No, you take Titan. I kind of because they both have uh, have uh, the Sonic Singer. Good luck. And that's a good weapon. If I have two of those, for the most part, I'm good. <laughs> Cross. Can't go this way then. It's actually kind of uh, normal music. It's not danger music. This is very happy. What the fuck? This is way happier than I expected. Plan, recruit, transport. Is this not the Berserker homeworld? Ah, oh, it's a conveyor belt. Oh no, I'm being kidnapped. Help. Metal, mining, manufacture, X ray, gamma, neutrino, program, routine, debug. I think I could have come in lots uh, sooner actually. <laughs> Lives, machines, breed, evolve. Welcome to our planet, Rikras. We were produced to communicate with living creatures. Did you create the Berserker robots? No, they are not robots. We evolved from the silicons of Oribor 1. Silicons? You mean those slime things? We are able to think and evolve. The Berserkers used to be like us. Something went wrong, however. We began analyzing the thoughts of living creatures. A large error occurred. That day, a new type of machine was born. The Berserkers, you mean? Yes, they continue to evolve based on living creatures. Anything else? Titanium, manganese, tungsten. Tungsten. I need tungsten. Generation, oil, power. I don't think there's anything here. That's where I came in, right? Yeah. Okay. So, wait. That means the only thing we have left to do is go to Alvin 4, get that machine, like, changed or something, and then go to Mentana. What? <laughs> wait, we're doing that today? Is this gonna be the last, the last episode, actually? Oh my god, it happened so fast. <laughs> There's nothing left to do. We've been everywhere. We've seen everything. Oh boy. Fourth world. Okay, so these guys need to change the black cube according to the text on the four monuments. I think that's how it worked. That's also the wrong menu. What am I doing? I'm so fl I'm so flustered. Let's bring science and engineer. I don't think I'll need to change the modules, but since I'm here, I might as well. Let's just switch around. Good luck. Probably the elder dude. I mean, he's the only one that, that looks special. He'll know what to do. Do you know a planet called Thrall in the own system? Yes, we've been there. Oh, 
Are you the robot there? I try not to talk to everyone if I can help it. That's that. Yeah, but it's old. Oh, the monuments! One, two, three, four! And the G-Wave Originer! This is all I need! I will not be able to develop the G-Wave Corresponder! Give me a minute. Most of that minute is me walking. I'll be right back. Should I follow you? No! Just wait there. And then the rest of the minute is me walking back. I'm glad you waited there. Here you go. Oh boy. Oh boy, we can talk to Mentana now, huh? Oh my goodness. This is gonna be... Oh. This could be big. Yeah, I'm gonna save now. I'm... Some crazy things could be happening, and I want to be ready for that. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me just stop pussy for now and just assemble what I'm gonna assume is gonna be my final game party. I want Klein because I want the pun I want to bring the puncher, that's for sure. I think I'm gonna bring Vind actually, because he's like stronger than he his fight skill is only six, but he has a high mechanic. I mean, he I'm gonna probably need to repair a lot. That might be useful. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Bring Klein and Vind. I want the puncher and I want the repairman. Okay. Let's actually save that. I don't know why I didn't do that first. I'm I'm very uh I'm not fully concentrated by the fact that I'm about to end the game, possibly. Was it this one? Right, the black hole. So, um... Hello? The black hole? Yep. Very, very big. Shine, start the G-Wave Corresponder. We're gonna talk with Mentana. Understood. My children, I am Mantana. I was born when the galaxy was born. I've been lonely for a long time. To allay my loneliness, I created Life Seed and sowed the galaxy with it. I hoped for them to evolve and someday surpass me. Humans as well? Yes, I am the one who gave birth to Earth. 35 trillion years ago. That rhymed. He also created the Berserkers. I gave birth to the, to the Silicons of Oribor 1. They evolved and became the machines living in Byton. The mechanical climate was totally different from yours. I never expected a war. But the Berserkers are screwing everything up! They've got some kind of error in their evolution program. <laughs> Mentana, we want to return to Earth. Can you help? It's simple for me to create a jump gate. If you go through the gate, you can go back to Earth immediately. Yay, we're going back! But once it's created, it can't be sealed quickly. I am watching the Berserkers. They are hiding behind the Dark Horizon. If the gates opened, they'll follow you into it. And they'll invade your homeland, too. Aren't you God? Can't you do something? I only gave birth to you. It is yourselves who evolved to your current states. I am not even willing to help you with this. Because I trust your powers. You're telling us to fight them ourselves. It's not necessary to eliminate all of them. Just the Queen. The Queen is the one who was born from the Errors. If the Queen is destroyed, the program will normalize. So go to the Dark Horizon. Oh, 
change the music, okay. I guess that's what we'll do then. Okay, now I feel like I'm in the end game. The goosebumps have arrived. This is the dark horizon where a new planet is being born. Commander! Berserker ships! Mentana was right! How many? About 800 large ships, about 2,000 smaller ones, and a huge mother sh uh, mothership in the middle. Ugh, that's impossible! This ship's all we got! There's no place to land. Well, obviously it's not. Well, well, what do we do? I genuinely don't know. I genuinely don't know what to do at this point. Um... Do I just deploy from here? No. Do we, are we, are we gonna need help? I don't know what to do. I this is um, the first time I'm genuinely stuck, and I don't know what to do. Oh crap! I guess I'll talk to the Sea Clan again. See what happens. I may have to cut until I find something. So I have, probably have to try several. I'm gonna have to probably try Far World, maybe the Lizard World. I mean, the Lizard World would be likely actually. But since I'm here, let me just try. You spoke with Mentana. Incredible. I think this is it. What? Their core is in the dark horizon? Oh, I get it now. Humph. <laughs> Go, space armies. Go and eliminate the berserkers. Ah, this was... Okay, that did make sense, actually. This was figure outable. This was actually the second thing I tried, right? After the sea clan. So, uh... Yeah, I'd like to still take credit for that. I'd like to think I wasn't never stuck in the first place. Okay, but now! Now for real! Now I'm gonna do this, hopefully. It kind of disturbed that goosebumpy ending feeling a bit, but uh... Okay. Say that again. Let's see what happens. What happens now? Berserker ships. Yep. Still. Still a lot of them. It's impossible. This is all we got. No, it's not. Come on, the space army from Gordic has arrived. Commander, a message from the Gordic army. Hey, you hear me? Finally the last battle. We're gonna kill all the berserkers. They are controlled by that big mothership. Victory is ours if we sink that ship. But that mothership's huge as hell. I don't think normal weapons will affect it. So what should we do? Um, well... Well, we should get them from inside. We'll sneak in and destroy the control center. You got guts! Okay, we'll take on the crap around the mothership. The berserkers are attacking. By the way, just, 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 just pointing that out. Let's go, everyone. The last battle. Let's show them our Cyber Knight pride. Title drop. That always means it's the end. Yeah, everyone said that at the same time, because that's what, what people do. Oh, man. 
get in there. How cool would it have been if, like, right before you bought the ship, you play a side-scrolling shooter stage? <laughs> Just out of nowhere. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been really cool. Okay, we've landed then. Oh, boy. Alright, one last time, buddy. Good luck. Okay, the goose puppy feeling is back. Mothership. It's gonna be a maze again. Is there gonna be a teleporter? Please don't. No, it's not okay. I was worried. I was not a triple layer maze. Don't seem to be any random encounters though. Which is surprising, but up, up, there we go. Oh boy, Dullahan and a Ganosaur. Wasn't he a boss at some point? Oh no, I meant to restock on. I meant to change my uh, options since I don't use normal episode. Uh, not an option anymore. I was gonna load up on like disintegrators and large missile pods and shit. Just to fuck everything up. Ooh. Okay, that is actually kinda bad. It's bad that I forgot to do that. And impact doesn't work on them, that is fantastic. Laser works though. But source is almost in punching range. Punch. Deploy the punch. This, I think that's going to be very important here today. <laughs> Wait, have you used the, the anti-proton gun? I don't think I have. Punch! Oh, fuck, fuck's sake. What are you doing? What are you doing? I know he's defending, but come on. Zero? Oh, come on! <laughs> Don't be immune to the punch! Maybe you try to punch him instead. See what happens. Zero? Okay, I don't like where this is going. At all. Laser works well against Dillahan, though. So I'll keep doing that for now. It should hopefully finish him off. You try... Wait, that wasn't laser, that was beam. This is laser. I was hoping you would finish him off there. My god! Why is the punch not working? It's the punch! Come on! Hey, that, that, that's laser. Please. Punch! Okay, maybe Ganosaur is immune to special. That is sad. Please begin a concentrated attack. That's one enemy left. We can't do anything but concentrated attacks. Maybe punch him normally without the, the, the Mega Ball. I hate it! Oh, well, then. No, you can't. It's dead anyway. Well, at least we didn't take much damage. We took one minor hit. We can live. We can live. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm just walking. In a random direction. There's a wall to the left. That seems like I want to be there. I can't go through it from here. 
If there's a wall, then oh, well, just, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. That mean that meant nothing. You knew at least the guys the front. Brownie. Well, I know that the DNC should be uh, susceptible, or, or, or at least hittable. With the goddamn Sonic Singer. That that should work this time. Yeah. I don't need to worry about those. They are small fry at this point. Okay, good. May you finish up at least one DNC? Close. He's in punching range. I hope special works. Well, oh, come on, punch properly. I know you're not the puncher, but punch a little more properly than that. Okay, can you try to maybe finish him off in one punch? That's what you do. You are literally one punch man. Please live up. The, the namesake I gave you. Let's try anti proton. There we go! There we go! That's what you do! And the anti proton! It missed. Now I don't know if it even works. Even hmm, okay. I need to find a way to get to the left here. I'm gonna assume that's the goal, that's like the front of the ship. Oh boy, Wendigos and the Dudahan. I'm gonna hope that I can punch the Wendigos or Sonic Singer, anything. Because Saurus is not very good against those. Let's try the laser. Because laser works against the, the Dullahan. Let's try to work on those already. Since they are the problem. Oof! That's a lot of endurance damage. Ow! Okay, that's why uh, I should probably stay in close. Oh my goodness. I should stay far away from the Wendigos, but close to the. I can't do both though. I'm not mobile enough. Oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not mobile enough to do both. That's not how it works. It is of biomechanic construct. Okay, you try to punch the Wendigos. That's very important that you try to do that. Laser punch. Oof. Good. I fear I, I fear Rex might die here. No, that doesn't work! Well Either that or or he missed. I hope he just missed. Oh, you can't always miss. What is your problem? I should get close them so they uh I just get close to them so they... That one guy can't punch me. It's not gonna work. Let's try an acid shot. On him. Oh no. Oh no. I should probably run away, but... Ugh. It's very unreliable. At this point, that... That might doom me. Oh good, you can't punch him. Good! They have 120 health, that's a lot. 
That is so much. Okay, let's go back to the laser and try to just finish these guys off. Well, I'm glad you can punch them because they are scary. Don't! Good. If I had done what I intended to do, that is like pack up more, uh... More disintegrators and shit, then this would probably be a group where I would want to use them. Because that's a lot of really dangerous enemies. One down. Next one. You try to punch, probably not gonna work. Actually, it's not gonna work. Napalm. I know. I know. Fire does a little bit of damage at least. It's better than the non-damage you do do otherwise. And considering that Rex is almost dead, uh, yeah, we need all the damage we can get right now. I guess the winner would be useful here, because if they weak to fire, then the Nova Flame, or whatever it's called, would be very useful here. I mean, laser usually works too, so I should be fine now. The Dulan usually don't punch so hard. Oh! They punched very hard this time. Good, good, we, we made it. Fifty? Damage. Thanks, but wow. Oof. This is why I brought my repairman. So I figured I'm gonna need a lot of repairs here. Boom, 60 points. My god, you're so, such a good repairman. And I'm a decent enough uh, medic, I guess. going anywhere? I'm kind of going backwards now. Yeah, I'm back to start. Mm, might as well heal then. That's the one good thing, I guess. Since I'm here. At least we know what we're dealing with now. Like, uh... Geography-wise? That's what you call it. The goal is to go to the left part, which, which I assume is the front. This is a big wall, so we need to find the way past that wall. Which shouldn't be too hard, because the walls are not very good at keeping people out. Wait! 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 No! Oh, I just cancelled it. I didn't know you cancelled that. I did, I did get Leon and C parts. I don't think I'm gonna get anything new out of them, but I have to at least try. Okay. This time... No, no... This time for real. Good luck! Oh god, I just hit a button on my keyboard and something just opened. It's a calculator, what? I didn't know I had that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> move. Okay, let's look around the bottom. Must be something here. Get us past that wall. Hmm. That's where we want to be. Here. And then go around this way. I went left last time. That was my mistake. Ouch. Ouch. That hurt. <laughs> Anyway, I'd say it was, like, my mistake, but at the same time, I don't think it was a mistake, because I didn't really have a goal in mind, it was just, uh, uh, exploring. But now we passed that wall, I think. Now we're very far in the front. 
Let's go as far as the front as we can. What's here? I need to go further. I mean, this is not going to be the, the solution. I mean, as far front as possible. We need to find the right staircase. Because now we're as far as front as we can be. Let's check this one. Since it's right here. It goes nowhere. That's exactly what I mean. We have to find the right one. What about this one? Nothing. If we loop around back through the inside. The question is, which staircase is the most awkward to get to? I think it's the one to the right there. I think it's gonna be this one. Um, maybe? No. We need to get in... Into this loop, this outer loop. So we just scout and find the staircase that takes us there. Is it these staircases? It must be. Either of those two up north. Well, it's time for another heal though, first. First and foremost. Haven't he needed to heal much so far? But we're still good in a way. I'm surprised, I mean... We did comb the galaxy pretty thoroughly. Ooh, how do I even get to that? Can I even get to that? Can I go around? I can't, I totally can. Was it this one? Yes, the other one. Okay, I think this is it. I think this is the path to glory. And the end, yeah, it is. Okay. There, might, there could be a boss, or THE boss, on any of these tiles. It's happening. Make sure to heal the full. This should be it. Okay, this is the core. Are we ready? I think we are. We have disintegrators. Not as many as I would have liked. We have the punch. Oh, for fuck's sake, that didn't look as big when I came here. Oh god. I am the queen. I belong in the highest echelon of the galaxy. How did fools like you make it here? I'll burn your soul. And I'll disintegrate you and punch you. That's what I do best. Ah, oh, it's just a tiny tile. That's a bit disappointing. Are this are oh, three dollar hands. I don't like those. A signing code name Queen. Well, don't assign the code name. She calls herself the Queen. I have options, right? I do have a disintegrator. Let's just try. If we can disintegrate her right away, we're good. A large missile pod just, in, just in check if the disintegrate doesn't work. Oh, she's big. Okay, good. It's a bad weapon for her to have, though. Ow, I shouldn't have retreated. That, that was a mistake, I think. Oof! Rex is already almost dead. That is bad. Disintegrator! Zero. Ah, I figured that would be the case. That would have been too easy, I guess. That missed. Wait, what am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Field, black globe. Field, black globe. Field, black globe. Just kick your goddamn defense. I'm not used to doing that because I never do that. That's impact though, so we're gonna need to have the other one too. Though, I'm not sure if you can have like two different ones at the same time. Well, fuck. Well, fuck. It seems defense against lasers is quite high, yet yeah, our disintegrate didn't work. I saw that. 
to get the inertia field up too. They might- You don't go in front, what are you doing? Ah, I'm so flustered, inertia field. You have to do this without Raja and Rex. Okay, that already- uh, wow. Laser defense plus 90%, huh? I mean, that's a lot! Defense- I mean, damage down by 90% is so goddamn much. But that's impact, and that's what the inertia field is for. Oh god, yeah, we need that badly. One more... One more missile like that and you're dead. Hey, that's impact too. Well, I have special. Let's punch the queen. You guys tried to, to disintegrate a uh, Dullahan? That, because that should work. Aces work on them. Punch the queen! Yeah, there we go! 234 damage on the final boss! <laughs> it didn't it didn't one shot. I did say it somewhere. Oh, I doubt anyone can I said I don't think any enemy has enough he health to survive a full power punch, not even bosses. I was wrong, the queen does survive that. The queen's defending, yeah, I figure. Punch! You need to defend or else you're gonna die from the punch! Good, good there, we need the good damage. These are fairly tough opponents. Ah, uh, yeah! No, I, I kinda noticed that. PUNCH! Ten more. You need to stop defending. Well, actually, I kinda like it that you do. This is free damage from me. can't miss, this is important. I'm genuinely worried that, uh, oh god, oh fuck! That we kill the queen, but then the, the Dunaham kill us. Punch! A two How much health does she have? My, if you don't have the punch, what are you supposed to do? Seriously! Oh good, he moved away. He's just kinda just baiting her. Oh, what is that? That might have been special, but I'm protected against that. I, I, I'm protected against all five damage types, and you're dead, Queen. You're dead. The Queen is dead. <laughs> the punch has succeeded. I'm so happy the punch worked against the, the final boss. That is fantastic. But without Rex, taking up these guys is gonna be uh, a bit painful. Wait, I should probably burn. That's the most reliable way to do it. It's gonna be very, very, un very anticlimactic, but the best way to do it. Burn him. If I can. Because they don't care much about the punch. Unlike their queen. Man. Raja would have been alive if I had Hot. Hey, it's the final boss. Put up your defenses. <laughs> I just didn't think to do that. It's OP as crap. Minus 90% damage from all from all damage types. That is very much OP, but I guess it's like the reward for exploring, right? If you didn't explore the universe fully, this would have been a very, very hard fight. Because the queen has like, what, 500 health? At least. True final boss is these two goddamn Dullahan. Also, I'm very sad the Queen didn't get special boss music. I mean, there's always an option that there's gonna be a second uh, phase to it, but the first phase already had 500 health. That's a lot. Hopefully the last round. Just die! Please!
There we go. Is it over? You get experience points, it always worries me. If only Roger was alive to see this. A strange voice echoed when the Berserker Queen died. Good job. The bug is gone. The system is clean. It won't happen again. My evolution system went out of control, then proceeded to evolve improperly. I have inserted an auto-debug system into my core. Thank you. From now on, we'll continue on the true way of evolution. So this is it. If only a commander was here to see it. Let's return to the swordfish. So I guess this is it then. We win. Welcome back, you did quite well. It's Clone Raja. Alright! I'm back! Time to beat up the Queen, we just did. What? Oh no, and I missed it? Oh no. Oh no. Hmm, you know, we can still move around apparently. <laughs> that worries me a little bit. Why are we still like here? Let me make a separate save file for that, just in case. Commander, a message from the Gordic army. We did it! Look at them! The Berserkers are all running out of here! Okay, we are ret re returning to Gordic now! You can go back to your home planet, right? Yes, thank you. You guys were brave. I think. They told me I'm actually uh, a clone. I didn't actually see it happening. Ha ha ha! I'm embarrassed! Well, see you then! Say hi to Mentada! Still go anywhere we want? I don't know. We could probably get some new dialogue he here and there, but uh, we want to get home. It's time to go home. We've been here for a very long time. I've seen what you have done. All the machines seem safe now. But your journey will continue. Evolution is the longest battle. It lasts trillions and trillions of years. But you will survive and head into the next step. Don't forget. Do not give up. I'll open the gate now. Goodbye. Thank you, Mentana. Goodbye. Ciao. I'll miss him. You didn't... You, you hardly knew him. Goodbye, God. Bye. See you later. Later. <laughs> Goodbye, my children. I believe we'll see each other again.
SS Swordfish, date unknown. Report, Commander Roger. The long journey is over. We are heading home to rest our wings. When I think of it now, it was an eye-opening experience. We went through things no one's ever been through, and we beat them. It was just a few months for us, but I wonder how much time's elapsed on Earth. Will our families and friends be there to welcome us? And will our savage technology and experience surprise or confuse Earth? Maybe there will be a war over the new weapons we discovered. It'll be called the One Punch War. What if we become the seeds of the war? Compared to Mentana, alive for trillions of years, our Earth is very young, and we are but children. When children fight, war happens. Let's learn from our mistakes and continue to evolve. As Mentana said, our journey continues. And this has been Cyber Knight! God, what a great game this was! I think... I'm pr actually pretty sure that this was... The single greatest game I have... Like, found on this journey so far. And this is exactly why I'm doing the SNES Library to... To begin with, to find these games. My god. My god, it was so good. So good. I mean, obviously it had its flaws, right? The visuals weren't the best. And I'm sure part of the reasons why I've never heard of this game before is because people who look for, like, SNES RPGs would look at screens and be like, eh, doesn't look that great. And I wouldn't blame them. It really doesn't look that great. Imagine if this game looked as great as it is. Oh my god, everyone would be talking about it and I would have heard about it. Everyone would have heard about it. But yeah, I mean, this was great. I like the whole story about, like, these machines evolving. But I wish there was a bit more to it. Like, oh, it was just a bug. Oh, okay. It could have been... That's a bit more. Like, I don't know, maybe... At some point, I was thinking that uh, the the professor on Far World, like, he was researching Mentana. Maybe he started it. Maybe he was... He built the first Berserker. And the goal was to find Mentana and, like, create machines that evolve into a godlike entity. I don't know. It, in the end, it was just a bug. It's a bit underwhelming. I want to be honest with you. The dungeon design is also a bit lacking. I mean, for the most part, it's like, hey, there's tunnels with doors. Some of them open, some of them don't. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's not particularly great. But the soundtrack of this game, oh my god, it's so good. So good. It was really good. So there was uh, that one battle theme that at some point just got really loud for some reason and then it stopped again. That was a bit annoying, I don't know why they did that. I didn't like that. But the rest of the soundtrack was great. I liked the exploration. Planet hopping. Again, if there might have been like more reasons to scan every planet, like find more technology that way, that would have been cool, but eh. We found a lot of cool things. Like a lot of cool subplots. I had a great time with this game. A very great time. But what's most important now is the fact that this game does have a sequel. And from the teeny tiny bit I've heard, it's supposed to be even better. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. I don't have to wait for long. I'll just play it tomorrow, but eh, I still cannot wait. Hmm. How do I feel about the, the combat? Was like fun. I mean, the 
even though sometimes the encounter rate got very high and the combat is very long, I didn't mind because the combat was fun, though it took me a long time to really, uh, like, see everything that I, I was supposed to even do. It took me a long time to really understand how the game works, it's very complicated, but once you get it, it's great. Thanks Gideon, thanks Aeon Genesis. Without you, no one, uh, hardly anyone uh, outside of Japan would even know about this game, I guess. I mean, I still didn't know about it. Which is a, a, a crunch, because this patch has been out for like, what, over 10 years now? Like 10, 15 years? It's, it's crazy. How did I not know about this? People need to talk about this game. It's great. It's fantastic. It's what if Mass Effect existed 20 years ago. <laughs> the end. For now. It's not the end, it's to be continued still. It is a sequel. As far as I know, it's a direct sequel with the same characters. Great. Oh boy, is anything else gonna happen? Just rock out to the music. I guess we're just gonna rock out to the music. And next time on the SNES library, Cyber Night 2. Until then. <laughs>